Finally, summer is here. <laughs> Welcome back to another family vacation vlog here from Italy. I am on a trip with my mom and Mr. T. And in this video vlog, we are on the southern part of Italy. We are here in Monopoli. I'm so excited to be traveling with my mom as an adult, giving a lot of different perspectives. Then I think I can now manage to appreciate this type of vacation much more than in the past. So mama, what are we uh, expecting to see in this video? Well, um, we are here in the south of Italy. Uh, the culture with the food and, and, and the environment and the bio biologically uh, things are different from, from Rome and Milan where we yeah. recently have been traveling both of us. Mm. So today we are going to visit the, the area of a Monopoly and see the uh, old harbor and we are going to Alberello. Alberello. We heard so much beautiful things about yeah. that place. Yeah, and uh, Albero Bello. Albero Bello, yeah, that's how we say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Albero Bello. And, yeah. Yeah, and also uh, Postiano Amare, mm. which also is very well known for for its spectacular, um, like in town beach, yeah, yeah, and, and some very I've good seen that uh, place. Yeah, restaurants. So, uh, so much to see, and uh, I can't wait to go. I'm excited, guys. Comment below if you're excited for this video as well, and let's jump right into it. Yeah, guys, finally got some work done this morning. Are right, today planning a little excursion before we do that? Cooking some Italian coffee right here. This is what the Italian coffee maker looks like. So what it does, it's boil water into here and the coffee goes through this little tuct and it comes into here. So all you have to do is make the water boil. Over here, prepared breakfast, even some baguettes. While we are here in Monopoly, we have rented out this beautiful Airbnb. And to our biggest surprise, there was a very large private rooftop terrace that also has a table where I've been spending some time working this morning. Even though we're traveling, even my mom, she's working, answering emails, kind of how we're wired. I think I got a lot from of my work ethics and hard ability to work really hard, I got from my mom. Beautiful location. We're in the heart of the city right here. These narrow Italian streets are just right down there. And we're gonna go down and explore it. But before we do that, I wanna talk about the sponsor we have for this video, which is a very cool product for family safety, for safety online. I don't think you wanna miss this one. Guys, so the question I have for you today is if you've ever experienced finding some of your private and sensitive information exposed online. It can be quite unsettling knowing that some of this private and often sensitive information is being sold through robocalls, spammers, or by other unwanted individuals. It's a big problem and it's happening more and more in modern day age, but don't you worry, I got some really good news for you. So guys, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is the ultimate defense against data brokers and online threats that you just can't see. With Aura, you can protect and take back your personal and sensitive information and protect yourself and your family online. This is especially important in this modern day age and me and my mom, we've been having a lot of conversations about this. Also recommend you guys to have a safe word because you never know who's calling you nowadays. With Aura, you get everything you need in one single platform. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean right now. First off, you have parental controls, you have antivirus softwares, you have a VPN, you have password management, identity theft insurance, and so much more. All in one comprehensive solution. And the best part of it all, it's at a very affordable price. So guys, obviously as a YouTuber, as a public person, I was expecting to find a lot of information online, but not on the magnitude that we just discovered. It's really cool to see how Aura is really keeping an eye for me. I think what's really great is that Aura can take all this information back. It works almost like a broker for you. It's like, hey, you can't be selling this information, give it back, take it off online. I think that in the years to come, it's gonna be much, much more important probably more so than ever to keep all this information private. Depending on the country you are from, people will call you, especially me, whenever I land in Norway or turn on my Norwegian SIM card, I just get so many phone calls from phone call sellers. People wanna sell me stuff. This is due to my information is out there. It's public information. What I do, 
And I'm really surprised the information and the sellers are getting more and more specific. Like they know what I'm doing. I think this is kind of unsettling. So protecting our data online is more important than ever. So guys, what I think is very important here is don't let anybody exploit your private data, profit off of it, sell your information to other people who's then trying to call you back and sell you something. We need to take control of it make sure it's safe and if you are taking this serious there is a two-week trial in the description of this video two weeks trial on aura which can allow you to really test out their services and see for yourself just how good it is so guys i would really recommend you to check out their services check out this link right here aura.com slash martin solaugen and sign up today for a two-week free trial where you can test out their services and see just how good it is now guys knowing all of this we can stay safe and protected wherever we are in the world but we are now in southern coast of Italy, and I can't wait to explore it with you. Yeah! Guys, we made it to Albero Bello. Very, very cool city inland here in Italy, just off the coast from Monopoly, where we are staying. It was a 30 minute drive. I'm very surprised how big this city is, but the unique feature here is that there are some UNESCO rural heritage sites. It's very special stone buildings where the roof is kind of caving in. So without the use of concrete, they were able back in the day to construct these houses and I'm gonna show it to you right now. That's why we are here in the city to explore and find those houses. Guys, when we arrived, we had a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out where to park actually, but look for Terrassa Panoramica. That's the place we're going to now. Almost sounds English. Terrace with panoramic views. sitting here in the center of one of the world heritage sites here there's probably around a thousand cones where we're sitting but there are five places that's been declared as unesco world heritage sites so there's a lot to see here you can definitely spend the whole day but what we're going to do now is just have a little coffee and then we are just going to wander into the city completely without any specific places in mind and i think that way we can kind of explore it together so let's go do that This is how they serve the coffees here. Kind of cool. I got an Americano and my mom got a cappuccino. Even if I could, I would never call it mad. Can you please forgive all the jealousy I have? This time I'm finding peace in my sorrow that I keep. You know? We're now walking into the famous shopping street, the one in the center, probably where the best photos can be taken. So many different streets like this you can walk into you know look at this we get a real up close view of the construction techniques just in this city alone there are more than 1,000 of these cones hard to get a photo because there's a lot of people but you can get lucky Wow guys look at all these different symbols on the houses they all have different meanings and you guys can see these are one-story houses but right behind me here, we're going to visit the two-story houses. Guys, we have now driven to Pulignaro a Mare, which is 30 minutes from where we just came from. And it's the neighboring city from Monopoly, where we live. It's a beautiful beach here. It's a coastal city. I had been recommended to go here. Parking can be pretty hard to find, but we got lucky. And we are only a couple of blocks away from the oceanfront. This is where the famous restaurant inside the cave is. You can eat and overlook the ocean. We actually booked a table there before we realized it's 250 euro minimum per person. So we kind of thought that, no, we're not really ready to spend that money on a dinner today, but it's just good to know. So if, you, if that's something you really want to do, of course, it's definitely worth the money, but we just not feel comfortable spending that money today. So we're gonna look for another place here. Mama, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> it's been a beautiful day yeah. with uh, the visit to the Albero Bello. Yeah. And uh, the famous houses over there. 
And now we are in a coastal city, uh, like straight next to Monopoly, where we stay. And it has a beautiful coastline and some very famous beach that we are about to approach. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. What a beautiful view. A part of me just want to jump from over there, cliff dive. Might have to come back here for that. A lot of people are relaxing here on the rock. Into the old town. Finally, summer is here. <laughs> the three, four days of rain in Italy, it's out. <sighs> Guys, I discovered this very, very nice place on Google called Bella Embriana Pizzeria in Ostia. Cheeses and pizza. And you can't go to Italy without getting a really, really nice pizza. Guys, this is the one meal that I was picturing myself having in Italy. I am so happy right now. Thing you will never get enough of while you are here, narrow back streets. everyone. Last summer I spent about two months in Croatia. I've also traveled in Albania on the opposite side of the Adriatic Sea and let me tell you the cities here in Italy along the coast especially this one in Monopoly has a similar style to what you can see in the cities in Croatia. The reason for me saying that is when you look at the stone work that is used to construct the cities. It's so nice. Very beautiful. <laughs> On this family vacation, we are visiting Italy early May. It's currently May 15th. The main season hasn't yet started. You can get lucky in May and get blue weather. However, on this trip, we have not been lucky. But Italy is a place you can go to and just enjoy food, wine, and destinations without really worrying about the weather. The best places to visit Italy is June, July, August, September, October. The locals we've spoke to say that if you want to avoid tourism, still have a bigger chance of good weather, you should arrive in September and October. If you're looking at this video as inspiration, perhaps consider going during those months. Alright, we've been exploring Monopoly, but I think we've had enough of the views. Let's dig into food and the culture. Guys, here in Italy, it's a very big coffee culture, and usually you have the espresso right here on the bar. You never sit down. My mom is very excited about all vegetables and fruits here in Italy. You guys can see, look at the colors and the quality of local produce. Even the tomatoes are like, wow. Guys, here in Monopoly and most cities in Europe, there is also very often that you can find an old town and that tend to be the city center where you know they first settled and then they usually have city walls to protect themselves. Back in the days here in Europe things were crazy. Now we moved outside of the city walls and we are approaching the city that was built on the 18th and 1900s. Very very pretty also. Still not modern building but a lot different design. I'm very excited to explore it. One of the guys you have to do while you're here is to visit the Basilica Cattedrale Maria Santissima della Madia. Not sure how my Italian is, but we're gonna go in. I've heard good things. Hi, 
I just came out from the cathedral behind me here and I think it is one of the most stunning churches that I've ever been to. If you're in Rome, you're kind of expecting that the churches will be very, very impressive. But here in Monopoly, I did not expect it and it was just so beautiful. Craftsmanship, everything was really, really well done and it's also free entrance. Definitely a place to visit if you're coming here. Guys, you haven't gone to Italy if you haven't ordered an Aperol Spritz. It's that time. Thank you very much, sir. Oh. Thank you. And we are sitting on the town square now. <laughs> Not bad vacation. Cheers, you guys. Yeah, my mom needs a photo. Guys, it's now 5 p.m. and the city is coming alive. Sun is out. Aperol Spritz on the table. And we have booked dinner on a seafood restaurant tonight. I'm very excited for that. Guys, we have now been able to sleep, relax for a couple hours. And we're back into the city and now every restaurant is also open. We booked our place at a seafood restaurant and I think you guys are gonna love this one. walking home from the restaurant and we walked into this super narrow street. Took a lot of photos and look at these chandeliers. It's like rattan, bamboo. Oh, it's like in the ocean, guys. I'm not sure what it is, but imagine this is under the ocean. Comment below what it is. Beautiful. Yeah! Good morning, everyone. Guys, today it's the 17th of May. It's a very special day for all Norwegians because it's our National Independence Day. This is the day we got independent from Sweden way back in the day when we fought for our freedom. I haven't experienced a Norwegian 17th of May, Independence Day, since I moved to Hawaii in 2015. Somehow, I've always been around the world whenever we have our Independence Day. And this year is going to be the same. <laughs> I'm here in Italy, I'm not in Norway. It's coming up on seven years, but all those other years I have been without any other Norwegians and especially without my family. Yeah, so all those other years I have not been able to celebrate it with my family. That's why I'm very excited that my mom and Mr. T is with me here in Italy. So guys, let me show you what a National Independence Day looks like. That's what we're gonna do today, but we're gonna celebrate it here on the southern coast of Italy. Good morning! Good morning! <gasps> wow! Breakfast. So Hello. fancy. Good morning, Mr. D. Good morning. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I'm the dishwasher. Yeah, you're the dishwasher. Yeah, I'm the dishwasher here. So guys, on the tablet over here, we have Norwegian National Television showing live from what's happening back in Norway. And then over here, they prepared a very nice table. Even have the red color from the Norwegian flag. And since we forgot the Norwegian flag, my mom drew this on a napkin. You know, we gotta work with what you have. And it's all about today traditions. It's a little bit more fancy and we are very excited for this. So good conversations. Also wanna give a big thanks to my grandma who has sent some extra uh, contributions. She sent us some money that we're gonna be spending today when we go out for a very, very nice dinner in the town next over. But first, it's all about good conversations, celebrating our freedom <laughs> and having a good breakfast. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. God bless you again. We are out and about and we are now going to visit a restaurant called Sal Blue. We could have taken a train to the next city for one euro and 20 cents. And it's not that easy to find taxi services here, but I think we found one eventually. A little bit more pricey, but at least you guys know that that is an option. Guys, 17th of May. You guys look amazing, yeah. 
A very nice taxi my mom has ordered for us today. <laughs> oh well, national holiday. Okay. <laughs> wow, we have a six-seater taxi right here. Very nice. So my mom discovered this place online and she's been looking really much forward to it. Our 17th of May dinner, so far it looks very beautiful. I also think this is a hotel. Wow. Happy? <laughs> right by the ocean. How beautiful. I started the lobster because it's very good and the, the, um, the our master the restaurant. That was such an amazing experience. We decided to do a la carte menu, meaning we just ordered some things on the menu. And it was very, very good. Definitely a place I would recommend. I think in the summer too, you can spend some time here on the beach. And it's also a very, very high-end hotel. Good drinks, even better wine. 10 out of 10. Perfect for exactly what we wanted to have today for our Norwegian National Independence Day. Wow, thank you. Difficult for Sweden. The sun is shining guys. Finally before we left, we did get a day of sun. What we're planning now is to go up on the porch that you guys saw in the beginning of this video and just chill and relax and really enjoy this day, which is all about community, family, and honoring the freedom that we have back in Norway, which is so beautiful. The freedom that we protect. Cheers! Last Cheers. day in Italy. One last day. One last day in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> last evening, guys, we are eating down on the main square. I don't know. Something he serves us right now. That's it. Italian bread, beer, and Italian pizza coming right up. Hi everyone, we are now driving back to Rome from Monopoly. Six hour drive here in Italy, you have these auto grill stops next to the road. Very nice, really recommend them. They're everywhere and uh, I'm gonna take you inside now. I'm gonna show you how they have espresso bars inside. Such an Italian concept that I love. Unfortunately, when we were parked yesterday, someone really scratched our rental car. As you guys can see, this almost looks like someone drew a key all the way. And then here, someone really scratched our car. It's the first time I've experienced this, but luckily I have travel insurance. So always make sure when you're going abroad that you have a travel insurance that can cover stuff like that. There's also a link in the description of this video where I highlight the travel insurance I use, which will be able to help me with stuff like that, which is out of my control. Now, let me show you how Italian gas stations look like. And over here is my mom. Hi, Mama. Having Italian coffee on the bar inside the gas station. Yep. Okay. Mr. T. Mr. T. Coffee. Coffee. And coffee latte. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, See, she has a very nice coffee machine in the back there. Guys, nice. here is my Italian double espresso in the gas station. So let's do like the Italians do. Ah. 
Bravo! No, leaving. 